You point. tripping? So look, <laughs> final five. I know what I'm doing, dog. Uh, <laughs> Mahomes, Lamar, myself, Dak, Joey B. Uh, no, he didn't really play oh, last, last year. year. Oh, last and then Hurts. Dak, 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 that boy. Y'all not gonna say that because he ain't, he ain't <sighs> won the big one. You, you said Matt, Matt three five. Yeah, Matthew, Cowboys thing. Well, Cowboys thing. Well, you gonna put Dak Prescott in there over Joe Burrow? Yeah, I got. I'm saying all the shit, dog. He ain't play all year. He got hurt. Well, we could Burrow find somebody. My, Burrow, one of my favorite players. Yeah, I'm out of my game after Burrow a little bit. Like, why you ain't Burrow? Got fuck with that. Cowboys. Oh, he was a cowboy late. They don't like each other like that. I ain't know all that. What? I ain't see. I don't be knowing all that. Act tough, bro. I'm Dak is one of the most accurate quarterbacks. I got to see them in the this world. Year, yeah, we play. Um, oh my God, the battle with Texas. Texas. You gonna take care Monday of Monday night? Yeah, take what y'all care playing of me, man. In Dallas. You know what? <laughs> I knew I liked this kid, man. C.J. Stroud just stood on business more than we've seen some of Dak Prescott's own teammates stand on business. CJ just gave his top five quarterbacks in the National Football League in the face of one of the most notorious Cowboys haters in all of the country with Gilly the Kid from Million Dollars Worth of Game. And he didn't care what they thought about it. They were trying to pressure him to take Dak Prescott out of their top five. And this is how people do. This is why I'm making this video. This, this clip is a perfect illustration of how people who don't actually know ball how they perceive things and how they try to twist and turn any type of statistic or narrative to fit their needs. Gilly in all of his heart wanted CJ Stroud to take Dak Prescott off of that list to the point where he started trying to name other people and like, we gotta find somebody else. Nah, man, CJ no ball. He's a quarterback in the National Football League. And to be quite honest, his top five was pretty spot on outside of the slight pandering that he was doing to the hosts because the hosts are Philly based content creators. And the fact that he put himself in the top five, which I have no issue with that. You should expect the guy that played the way CJ Stroud played last season to have that type of confidence in himself to put himself in that top five. Now, I don't know if he was naming the quarterbacks off in any specific type of sequence, but the top five is pretty accurate outside of, like I said, the pandering option of Jalen Hurts and CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud probably really honestly had a top five season for a quarterback last season. I would probably just replace Jalen Hurts with Josh Allen. And that's not even me being a hating Cowboys fan. That's just Josh Allen clearly had a better season than Jalen Hurts last year. And it, it literally isn't even close. And Jalen Hurts had a down year as well. So I, I would not give him that level of respect to say he's a top five quarterback in 2023. But I love, love to hear what CJ Stroud just said here. And it's hilarious to me because I remember when the Texans traded for Stefan Diggs, I remember people talking about, oh, I'm about to be a Texas fan. CJ Stroud, he, he a good quarterback. He is an actual good quarterback. Yet the guy that a lot of you guys are trying to defect to, he's like, you know that he thinks he's one of those. He said Dak Prescott is the most accurate quarterback in the world, man. He said he's one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the world so all those narratives about all oh, that he throw behind receives or he's inaccurate blah 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 no 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 dudes playing the game at the top level of their position are telling you this dude is the status quo for that position as it pertains to that particular skill bro Dak Prescott is one of those and the beauty of Dak Prescott is he didn't come gift wrapped ready made like that this man is a true testament of what hard work determination and time serve can do for you because one of the biggest traits about Dak Prescott that most people will tell you is he's one of the best students in the classroom as it pertains to like Jerry said you give him something to work on he takes it to the classroom figures it out and then he applies it to his game accuracy is not only a natural talent but it's also a coefficient of timing and understanding of your system and what you're trying to accomplish within your scheme and Dak Prescott bro you heard CJ say it there Dak Prescott is a master of it and i love 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 the fact that we're starting to hear more and more and more of these players kind of fight back against the narratives that's been created about dak prescott because ultimately those narratives man they could honestly hurt somebody even ending their career those type of narratives that have been created about dak and the the common perception that's been created about dak prescott that could prevent a person from getting their just dues from getting their flowers the way that they should by all accounts if you look at dak prescott's numbers he's having a hall of fame type of career if you add a super bowl ring to his current resume and what he's accomplished so far he would more than likely be a first ballot Hall of Fame type of quarterback 
due to his numbers. The man is a top five, top six passer rating quarterback of all time. He's one of the top five completion percentage quarterbacks of all time. He has one of the best touchdown interception ratios of all time. And this is over an extended period of time. This is not a small sample size. So I absolutely love, 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 love that CJ Stroud gave our guy his flowers. And I gotta say, man, this just made me respect CJ Stroud a whole lot. I, I, I'm gonna be the first to say, you will not hear me talking crazy about the Texans this upcoming season. Even when we have to play them, CJ Stroud gets nothing but respect for me and he has my support in his career because he supports our guy. Don't worry, I know I look a little moist in this video, I just got the shower. I promise I'm not sweating like that. <laughs> but either way, man, CJ Stroud, showing love to Dak Prescott, standing on all 10 toes. He's standing on business, man, even in the face of ridiculous haters, bro. I swear, Gilly the Kid represents exactly what every Philadelphia Eagles fan is like. Regardless of who's trying to present facts to you and tell you, even if they actually play the game right now at one of the highest levels in the entire league, Eagles fans and Dak haters will try to detract all of those statements that have a rebuttal to that. And most of the time, the only rebuttal they'll really have is, oh, well, the playoffs, or you hear, oh, he's bad against good teams. But actually, if you do your footwork and you do the research and you look for actual statistics that will support what you're saying, you'll find that there aren't any that's gonna support what you're saying. Because if you look at all the quarterbacks, the best quarterbacks in the league, their records against over 500 teams, their win-loss records, it honestly is pretty much on par with what Dak Prescott has done. I don't know what quarterbacks y'all think are out there that have these mystical 80 to 90% win-loss ratios against 500, over 500 teams, but it's not real. It's not a real thing. In fact, the QB with the best win-loss record against over 500 teams is Patrick Mahomes at 17 and 11, y'all. So these dudes lose these games. You can see the numbers I just put up on the screen, bro. It honestly isn't nearly as bad of a situation as many of you guys would like to make it out to be. And if you look at the playoffs and you look at the conditions that Dak Prescott has had to attempt to win games in, if you look at the playoffs and look at a quarterback's record when their defense gives up over 100 rushing yards, when their defense gives up a certain number, their record will look a lot like Dak Prescott's, if not worse. So a lot of you guys need to inform yourself more on what you're saying and listen to people that actually know ball. Either way, we steal the same old Cowboys. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, listen. I'm still them boys. Hey! Woo! Hey! Hey! I'm still them boys.